Alrighty, so diesel with the people news. All right, so this tank is getting a little bit on the nasty side. It's kind of hard to see through and all that kind of stuff. It's an old car, 2006, right? But in order to keep maintenance, you want to kind of check everything out, like your water level and all that kind of stuff, but you cannot see in there, right? So you get an estimated guess. Where is that? max and all that kind of stuff and you had to play everything by ear all right now what's that stick for and what that powder is well some of you guys who worked in a gas station convenience stores and all that know what that's for right i've all gas when we did the measurements of how much gas is in the car we used the baby powder to give us a idea of uh, the inches and we did it inches, but you know, you can figure it out by feet. So, you do this, kind of put it in there, get it estimated right there, right? Now, per se, I'm going to put this down, and here's a knife right here, and I'm going to put it down for a second. So what I did is marked it. Now when I pull this out, which we can tell by just how wet it is, right? But get that on there. And just for convenience, ugh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. And me cover my deal up. We get it both sides wet so that way you can look at it pretty easy all right there we go now you put that in there to the bottom okay and it's wet right so all the powder is gone so this tank technically is what at the bottom of the tank there so it's in a category of max, okay? And it's actually in the medium. So that way you don't have to go through nighttime, try to get a flashlight to look in there and all that kind of stuff. When you can just use a simple stick, baby powder, and get some type of basic understanding of what fluid is in your tank. All right, it's just a friendly, uh deal to kind of make your uh checking out your radiator fluid and all that a little easier all righty till next time diesel easy people news bye y'all